astronaut Per Wimmer. He joins us now from London. Hi there. Uh, give us, if you can, a better understanding of, you know, the relationship now between SpaceX and, and Turkey here. It marks a very significant cooperation, does it not? It absolutely does. And obviously, SpaceX in on a, is on a big uh, path of growth here. Last year, SpaceX Falcon 9 had uh, 26 launches, and this year they have even more in store, uh, probably up to a total of 40 launches. So SpaceX is really growing uh, it, it, from strength to strength here. And, and part of that obviously relates to, to Turkey. Turkey has today uh, three satellites. And with this launch today and its cousin, uh, 5B, uh, you would also you would get up to five uh, satellites. So this is very exciting, uh, but it's all part of private enterprise successfully increasing the access to space and uh, telecommunication services on Earth, uh, this time in a part of the world where, where there certainly is good room for extra satellites, i.e. around uh, Turkey. Okay, I mean, is there room? And I mean, what really, what kind of advantages do these satellites and this kind of cooperation with the private sector uh, give a country like Turkey? Well, for Turkey, the satellite would uh, certainly increase the capabilities of uh, both TV broadcast, so your own TV station might actually benefit from it in the future, uh, but it can also be used for data communications. Uh, the satellite that they're being launched today uh, has a capability of transferring broadband services of 50 gigabytes per second, so quite, uh, quite powerful. It has uh, the potential of being used both by, for civil purposes and military purposes. And it can cover an area f covering all the way from North Africa to Turkey and all the way to Kazakhstan. So it's quite a bit of a footprint uh, that this one will be able to deliver. And uh, then it's really down to the commercial customers, um, which will include the Turkish government, uh, what they would wanna, want that satellite to, to do um, before the next one comes up, 5B. Uh, but it certainly is all very exciting, and, and it just shows sort of the, the path forward, uh, the collaboration between private enterprise, SpaceX in this case, and various uh, governmental entities uh, around the world, um, as well as SpaceX has been co collaborating with NASA and successfully putting NASA astronauts on the International Space Station. Right. Okay. Per Wimmer, great to talk to you. Thanks so much for joining us there from London. We appreciate it very much.